minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, release. Tower clear. Now 10 seconds into flight. Now 20 seconds into flight. And P is going to close loop control. Now passing 30 seconds into flight. Mach 1, Alice 5 is now supersonic. Now passing 40 seconds into flight. And we're experiencing a uh, telemetry dropout in the uh, Denver data station. At this point in the flight, RD-180 should be throttling back up to 100% thrust, passing through max Q. Now passing one minute into flight. Commentators, BSC, I can take over. Go ahead. Uh, vehicle continues to operate normally during ascent. We're back to 100% thrust as expected. And VSCI have data now. Back to you. Now 1 minute 25 seconds into flight, Atlas V rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 6,900 pounds per second. Now 1 minute 34 seconds into flight. And we have burnout on all five SRBs. RD-180 throttling back up to full thrust, 1 minute 45 seconds into flight. One minute, 50 seconds in. And we have jettison of all five solid rocket boosters. Now passing two minutes into flight. Vehicle is now on cruise loop steering. And vehicle is now passing Mach 5. Now two minutes, 10 seconds into flight. I'm securing. RD-180 pump speeds and injector pressures look good in the uh, full thrust mode. Now 2 minutes 25 seconds in, approximately 2 minutes remaining in the Atlas booster phase of flight. Launch vehicle is now 42 miles in altitude, 81 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,800 miles per hour. 2 minutes 40 seconds into flight. And RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a 2.5G acceleration limit. Engine response and vehicle acceleration response looks good. Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. Two minutes, 57 seconds in. Now three minutes into flight. Atlas V is now 63 miles in altitude, 137 miles downrange distance, traveling at 7,500 miles per hour. And pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 look good as they're, as they're uh, throttling to maintain that 2.5G acceleration limit. Approximately one minute remaining to BECO, standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And we have CFLR jettison. Now three minutes, 40 seconds into flight. Vehicle now throttling to 95% thrust. And main engine now throttle to maintain a constant 4.6 G acceleration limit. Now passing four minutes into flight, and we have Centaur boost phase chill down. Approximately 20 seconds remaining till BECO. Pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 continue with us. They're throttling to maintain the acceleration limit. 10 seconds remaining to BECO. And we have good indication of stage separation. We have pre-start on the all 10 Standing by for ignition. And we have ignition on the all 10 Chamber pressure looks good. Vehicle body rate response looks good. This is the first burn of today's mission. This first burn should last approximately six minutes. 
Pilot 10 appears to be performing well. Chamber pressure looks good. Vehicle body rates uh, also looking good. Now passing 5 minutes 10 seconds into flight. And 5 minutes 25 seconds into flight. Atlas is now 117 miles in altitude, 608 miles downrange distance, traveling at 14,000 miles per hour. And Centaur L10 continuing to perform well. Chamber pressure looks good. And we have Miko, main engine cutoff. And we have ignition on the RL-10, chamber pressure looks good. And we have Miko, main engine cutoff. And we have ignition on the RL-10. And we have Miko. And we have separation of the AHF-4 spacecraft.